Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December 16th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again I want to remind you guys that this is just a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, in this video, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, like I'm doing here with the examples given in this video, uh, this, is, this will be a subject of a personal reading, and if you wish a personal reading with me, check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you can make, uh, you can see um, my services as well as their pricings. And just so to let you know, um, as the Christmas is approaching, uh, the prices for the 30 and the 20 minutes live reading with me are uh, reduced. So that being said, going to the tarot spread directly, this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread here. So these are the, the four main cards of the four positions, but we are going to draw one additional card for every single position. So Sagittarius, says we do have the devil card here sitting in the main position for you, which is the topic of your week. And for what it seems, as we do have the devil card, this week could be double-edged. What I mean is that it could um, <clears throat> it could traverse one or the other way. It depends how you are going to manage this uh, these uh, primal energies that are coming from the Devil card. Uh, just into the very generic um, interpretation of the card, the Devil points that you will be able to feed the hunger of your soul, or in other words, you may uh, have what you want but for some of you it's you may have it just so you realize that you don't want it as well now i will need one more card here to show to kind of like um define how this is gonna go and we do have the king of wands so um this is uh, actually your standpoint. So what I can take from these cards is that your ambition is gonna be fed up or fed excuse me uh, with that being said for what it seems throughout this week you are going to become more and more tenacious to uh, make your dreams come true to finalize that project at work you know or to have it your way uh, into your relationship in generally uh, these couple of cards here are pointing that your positive attitude toward that the end goal is finally going to be materialized this is the combo here uh, is going to increase more and more as you are passing through the week itself. Moreover, uh, these couple of cards here as one takes from the other. So the more ambition you do have, the more you feed that uh, hunger which your existence has. Uh, therefore, uh, with, with that specific standpoint, it will be beneficial as well from your behalf if you kind of be able to capitalize on the people around you, those who are ready to support you and those whom, who you, whom you can utilize to work in your favor. Now, if you are on a charge of an important project, you are a supervisor, you know, or in generally you are someone who calls the shot, this is going to be a very potent week for you. And under calls the shot, I mean as well if you are the leading force into your relationship as well uh, now this is going to be a very potent week for you because you can give finally a, a direction and a, a expression to uh to your ambition <clears throat> so if you are if your ambition is to be successful you know in in your into your career and to kind of like have a lot of money Throughout this week, that is just an example here, throughout this week you will have the opening to do it so, but you need to be determined and to have that unyielding standpoint that you are to do it whatever the cost, alright? And same goes for your relationship. Now here it is important to be acknowledged that the devil card does possess those primal energies and as primal they are not defined yet. Therefore these energies can be used to construct or they can be used to destruct as well. 
So again, it will de it will depend what you want to do with all these um, that that inertia, that momentum that you are to have throughout the week. But in generally, this momentum is given to you so you can make your ambition coming true. The next card points to the core of the situation or why this is happening. And just from the Queen of Pentacles, I can say that this is happening. It is because you you have finalized and consolidated on your current blessings so there is even if in the grand scheme of things there there could be things that can be improved all right they cannot be improved at that specific moment and that's why now it will be time for you to turn on into a the new ambition of yours or the new goal of yours additionally to it we do have the the knight of swords <clears throat> which kind of points that that was a uh, that is to be how can i place it mm. a very rushed decision if i may express myself that way to uh to push forth with uh, with your ambition and your agenda now here we do have a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a manis that it is looming saying that some of your decisions could not uh, may not be made based on solid foundations all right so it's very important when we do have these cards well the, that specific combo whenever you what what whatever excuse me you decide to do on fourth and whatever your ambition is here that you can really materialize it you should not do it in that in a such way that you can jeopardize your current um your current blessings and just to give you an example of that let's say that your ambition is to have a, a very good job you know and that job is offered to you throughout this week you do have the option to apply for that job throughout this week but your application involves you moving all right but in the same time you are in a family which is quite well situated at that specific point and the premature decision here is going to be you applying disregarding you know telling to your husband or to your wife what your plans are instead of doing so you need to consult yourself with them so you don't jeopardize your current blessing that is just an example how things can go for same thing goes for example in a relationship you like someone you see an opening that you can make a relationship throughout the week you know but in the same time a friend of yours likes that person as well so the premature decision is going to be you know you do that disregarding the uh, the emotions of your friend or you know first confront your friend tell them about your intentions and I'm sure that you are going to reach a common ground there where everybody is to be satisfied all right you just you should not do it in a way that you can hurt people around all right or disregard um, their their standpoint even uh, as as the as they are as well involved into your uh, into these mm, enterprises if I may express myself that way so uh, the challenges which are causing predicaments is what we do come around here that will be the Knights of Wands accompanied with the Six of Cups so those challenges are associated with a lot of wrangling uh, not wrangling but wobbling excuse me around and scampering the situation as well and the options available in front of you now it is very uh, it is very understandable here that you are to have an opening to your ambition all right but in the same time and you will want to kind of like uh, push it straight away you know start developing it straight away but uh, that development is going to require a bit of reconnoitering here and a bit of uh, and a bit of researching at your behalf and exactly <clears throat> that specific thing is going to be a challenging because you are to because you will have the uh, the affinity or the attitude to just jump into it you know and, and and resolve all that all these things at one clean swipe unfortunately that will not going to be the case here and uh, you will have to kind of like succumb or submit to the um to the circumstances that things needs to be tried out and researched um, in, um, in this current state of the advance and as well you know in the future advance as well now uh, with these cards when we do have the six of cups and the knights of uh, 
the Knights of Wands uh, in a challenging position, it is you find your way through uh, by the process of elimination. You try one thing, you see that it isn't working, you know, you see that there is no creative expression into it whatsoever, and from there you jump to the uh, to the other way of how you can do things, all right, and try it out as well. And by that way, with with that process of elimination, uh, sooner than later, I mean, before you know it, you are to find the correct approach to your situation. Now, in case this is your person as well, because the knight is sitting into a the, ma the main position here with the six of cups, these cards are pointing to a whiner, someone who is never pleased, someone who just cannot keep their uh, their energy into one place, jumping from one thing into another, and uh, if this is, for example, a co-worker of yours that your project depends on them, I mean your ambition depends on them, that is going to be a real predicament here because simply you will not be able to focus them into one direction. So they will not have a fulcrum in front of them and as you are depending on the performance of that person, it's going to be very difficult at your behalf to really um, <clears throat> put them into a devoted state or a state where you just simply have to do their job. But nonetheless, these these specific predicaments can and should be overcome uh, by uh, you exerting your power here. So in either case, you know you are to have the power in order to slam the table and just to make everybody do their job, or you know everybody to be patient enough so you can uh, you can find the best possible approach toward the enterprise undertaking or the situation in general. Now it is very important here to realize that the creative approach is not the approach that you should take, right? Uh, because uh, with the Six of Cups falling here with the Knights, it is more like the steady approach, the already established one that one needs to move on with. And when you uh, when you start walking on an established road or you start um, executing you know things that are already written by the book you know there is nothing creative in it you just follow step by step and that way um, uh, yeah it's not going to be that interesting but in the same time uh, I mean the whole process is not going to be that interesting but in the same time uh, you will at least know that if you follow the steps things are to work the way that they are supposed to. And that is as well displayed here with the Tree of Wands. That it is the um, guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Sagittarius. The Tree of Wands is accompanied with uh, the um, High Priestess. So here we do have a clear sign as the High Priestess is a natural enemy of the Wand cards. All right, We do have a, a clear sign that uh, you have already found your answer or in other words you have already found your ambition and how you should proceed or what is the next thing into your agenda all right you should not search it any longer the longer you delay you know that drive here displayed following you know <clears throat> the next step into your plan the longer you delay it just so you can find out is it really that thing or another you know the longer uh, the bigger challenges you are placing in front of yourself almost unnecessary challenges because the tree of the tree of wands here is pointing that uh, first you need to establish yourself as i said here on already established patterns right so you need to place yourself on already established patterns and follow those patterns. On top of that, the improvement here only happens through challenges. So whenever you find that things are moving hard, like I said here, all right, with the uh, Knights of Wands, uh, with the Knights of Wands and the Six of Cups, there it is where uh, there it is the place where your improvement lies. So everything that happens with ease is simply not challenge, and therefore you cannot. <clears throat> You cannot make growth with it. You cannot grow your personal skills. You cannot grow your personal knowledge. You cannot grow your relationship. Nor you can grow your career. The growth happens through you finding challenges. On top of that, here uh, this is a confirmation that you can have the things the way you want them. That is very important. So if you are finding yourself dissatisfied of a certain results, 
uh, <clears throat> you should not be resigned about it, all right? You should always seek a way how you can meet the results that you are expecting. And that is kind of like further supported with the Queen, uh, with the King of Wands, because the King of Wands is always someone with a, a big expectations, all right? And uh, it is unyielding as well about the expectations it's, uh, themselves. I mean, this is a person who simply, um, <clears throat> it is not satisfied and it is not resigned that the results doesn't meet um, his expectations as I said so he always search a way how to meet um, what, whatever he expects uh, to be as a result and um, it's basically he doesn't he doesn't drop the the agenda or he doesn't drop the undertaking until the undertaking is ex uh, is finalized exactly as the king of wands expects so, uh, with that being said, this was the tarot reading for you Sagittarius. Now let me uh, shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, what they are to show us for you is event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. Alright, so let's see what we got. Now the first card, this is going to be the Sun, and the Sun is associated with a, a great amount of success or a, a huge progress. Now, and great amount of luck as well. Then we do have the birds. Now the birds are associated with social media, they are associated with gossips as well, and they are associated with phone calls. And the last one, this is going to be the clover, and the clover is just the little, the little brother of the sun. It basically says, small portion of success, small portion of luck, and in general, you know, small benefits as well. So what we do have here, it is a, a success that is delivered, um, or kind of like a... Um, this is going to be a news or a gossips about a successful undertaking that is going to come in the last minute. It's kind of like, for example, if you are waiting for a call of approval, that call is going to come around in the come by in the last minute. Or if you are waiting for something as well to be put into stir, is going to be put into stir. Uh, back in the, again in the last minute, but that I think involves more about approval here, and if you are searching for a certain approval or you are waiting for a certain approval, these cards are pointing that is going to come around in the very last minute, but nonetheless is going to come around on time. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your uh, weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 10th to December uh, 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was just a general reading for Sagittarius a star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore in this video I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you just like I did for the examples I gave in this video. <clears throat> That will be a matter of a, of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!